This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Well, Vic Mensa, yeah, Vic Mensa, the guy you can't name one song about. The punk rocker, as they put it on TMZ. He was arrested for brass knuckles in Los Angeles. Yeah, you can have you can have green on you, you can have possession of other things, but you cannot have brass knuckles. So he got a 20 grand bond. Uh, but I always wonder, who is Vic Mensa? Like, he never had a hit record or nothing. It just doesn't make, the guy just doesn't make sense, period. But it is what it is. Getting on to other news, uh, Eminem. Eminem dropped an album mysteriously uh, on Friday. And already it's projected to sell 325,000. That's crazy. I mean, it must've just had really high streaming numbers. So obviously he's gonna beat out Selena Gomez. He's gonna beat out Roddy Rich and everybody uh, the first week. Um, it's pretty. It's a decent album. And there's a few songs on there that are pretty good. It was well put together. Um, I like the song with Young M.A. Even though she doesn't sound like she's rapping on it, I still like the beat. Seems like MGK's out here celebrating for him. Look at him popping that champagne for him. He's just so happy that Eminem is, you know, doing all of his album sales combined in one week once again. You know, binge, not cringe. <laughs> but uh, isn't it funny how MGK is such an Eminem stan? I mean, he's talented and everything, but... He is like almost an epitome. Like if you go back to his 2010 tweets or 2009 tweets, he was like on Eminem's D hard, you know, it was crazy. So it's just funny how he is like Stan, you know, anyways. Then we got Aaron Hernandez lawyer speaking out saying that he says that 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 uh, Netflix documentary isn't the truth. Uh, there must be something in there that he said that he didn't like how they twisted something. But, I mean, what was false about it? What could have been false about that documentary? It's still a mystery of what happened, you know? Like, did that guy that was supplying him, like, did he do a lot of the stuff and put it on Aaron? Or was Aaron in the wrong place at the wrong time every time? Or was he kind of like a Takashi kind of trying to, like, be a, uh, a gangster dude when he wasn't. I mean, the whole thing, but you know, he did have brain damage. That's one thing that they did conclude. It's just a spooky documentary. I very, I very much recommend watching it on Netflix because it's just, you learn a lot about something that there wasn't a lot to know about. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you. It puts everything in perspective. Appreciate you guys. I hope you have a good day and I'll check you on the next one. Peace.